Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hey everybody, Chris Perillo here, and what's trending in technology this week? Microsoft Windows 8. It's not available yet. Currently, the only version of Windows that you can buy in stores is Windows 7, and it's a great operating system, but Microsoft has recently shown off some of the things we can come to expect with the next version of Windows, and it looks great. At least the Surface looks great. The, uh, the Not Microsoft Surface, that's a completely different product, but the Surface of Windows 8 has been completely redesigned using a very familiar UI, the Metro-esque UI that uh, you may have seen in uh, Windows Phone 7 devices uh, to this point and, and some other uh, software available from Microsoft today. But this new, I, I guess, Surface, I, I have to use the word again, sorry Microsoft, the UI atop Windows is, uh, is it's nice. It's optimized for touch. But that's not the big story. No, it, it really isn't. And a lot of people are missing this. But Ars Technica definitely did not miss a beat. It's built... The, the, the UX, the UI, sitting atop Windows 8, is built atop HTML5 and JavaScript. Huge news! So the same technologies that are now powering thousands, if not millions, of websites, HTML5, JavaScript, etc., these same technologies are going to be powering the layer that sits atop Windows, the UI that we see, the touch experience, the thing that will make us fall in love with Windows all over again, or maybe for the first time. Either way, that's huge news. Now, if you think about it for a second, A, they're using technology that isn't theirs inherently, it's everybody's, HTML5, JavaScript, etc., uh, but they could potentially port the Windows experience uh, to other devices in, a, a, well, I guess a much more seamless capacity than they've been able to pull off before. Not to mention, when it's built on top of HTML and JavaScript, that means it could potentially run in any web browser, or really on any platform. Is the future of Windows going to be cross-platform? Food for thought. I believe that's what's trending this week. Maybe you disagree, maybe you agree. Leave a comment. My email, chris at perillo.com. You can follow me on Twitter, at Chris Perillo. I'm on empireavenue.com slash perillo. Uh, you can find me, uh, where else? Oh, yeah, facebook.com slash chris perillo. My blog, chris.perillo.com. I am all over the web, but this is, this is real. I'm not built in HTML, just CP. And I got a chat room. We're geeking out 24 hours a day, 7 days a week in conjunction with the live video feed at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.